guys so we are driving through these streets right now um, these backwoods heading to our destination we're trying to beat the sun like I don't want to be driving through these like shady dark backwoods at night so I'm trying to hurry up and beat the sun we're almost off the grid right now I would say like I don't know what's where we're at it's pretty dope though because we're seeing a lot of sights otherwise I feel like we would have never had an opportunity to see how do we not make the decision to make the drive so road trip is fun thus far Definitely. it's coming to an end baby lips is, is, is getting tired you can see it in her face as we are almost at our destination we're almost there and I think we're going to get there just after sunset right like literally just after sunset I'd rather be in that area than in the middle of nowhere I was asking Veronica what is 911 in Mexico 911 I didn't know that it's I mean if that's ignorant I don't know but I know every country the emergency correspondence number is not 911 but luckily for me baby lips googled in case of emergency in, in Mexico what number do I call and that's how she got that information but even if we got on the phone and called 911 I wouldn't even know where to tell them where we're at right now I'd have no clue drop a pen and text it to them and hope that they could like make that make sense <laughs> seriously because like we are in the middle of nowhere today at uh, pretty much the boardwalk of Tulum we're kind of getting our like our bearings it's our first day and we're hella excited you know once again it is Tulum you hear all the stories about Tulum like, we're excited to see what the city has to offer first impression and I was just saying this to Veronica it reminds me of like Mexico's version of like Venice Beach if you're from California if you've been to the West Coast and you've been to California you know that Venice Beach has a very specific vibe. <laughs> it's not like Santa Monica, it's not like Malibu, it's not like Manhattan Beach or any other beaches in Orange County. Venice Beach has a specific spunk to it. Um, and I get the vibe that Tulum is kind of has that same spunk. When you when you agree with me on that so far? Yeah, it's definitely a vibe. Right. Um, and you would only know if you've been to Venice. Yeah, if you've never been to Venice, I'm sure you're watching this, like what are you guys talking about? But if you have been to Venice and you have been to Tulum, you should know that it is our, it's spot on, yeah. spot on right now. But there's a lot of people that are here from obviously America, the United States of America, because somebody tried to correct me. Um, there's people here from Europe and all over. But I I realized that the mask, uh, the mask situation is interesting here. Uh, coming from Mandita, it was forced. Everybody had masks on here it's weird because i feel like half the population is wearing masks the other side of the population is not wearing masks so it's really interesting um but yeah like there seems to be a lot of good food and a lot of interesting stores so we cannot wait to like dive into this journey right right guys when in tulum i don't even know if you can see that pool up there uh this is street level and up here it's like a glass pool that they're partying on the rooftop okay guys i literally had to just take the camera out go out the window I am shook how beautiful this is guys absolutely shook how beautiful this place is All right, guys so we literally just drove down like the little beach row bruh totally different vibe from like the the boardwalk area like totally different vibe right yeah night and day yeah like one was like very venice beach hippies people selling stuff on the side of the street kind of like little little mungy there and then the actual area to where you can go like to the to the beach and like go down like uh you know like the the strip of the beach with the hotels and restaurants that is amazing 
Like that is like exactly what I think I envisioned Tulum being. Like these like small little casita restaurants, these beautiful palm trees just overlaying the street. And the water was so clear, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, like normally the water here is known for having like a dark sludge when it rains or it's really windy, but it was very beautiful, like crystal clear, turquoise blue water. And I cannot wait to eat my way around this place and you guys get to come. So off this road right here, you're gonna see this unmarked building, okay? It literally looks like an unmarked building right next to a Remax. Uh, this is Enterprise. So <laughs> there's no signs, there's no nothing. If you know, you know, if you don't, you, oh my gosh, people are honking. If you know, you know, if you don't, you don't, this is Enterprise. You're welcome for this because it took us literally, not even exaggerating, like almost 30 minutes to find it, right baby lips? And they are locked. <laughs> Como se esta, amigo? Michael Warfare Cinemedia. This is a copy for you. TC, okay. Okay. Okay, okay cars being inspected. We're turning it here in Tulum. This gentleman's doing the inspected. And yeah, doing his walk around. I'm gonna walk around with him so there's no confusion. These are like bananas as soon as you walk out. Here's the front door right here and there's like these banana setups and like I don't know what that is right there. Like it's almost like it's a, it's a head or something. But yeah bro, the bananas just growing out here wild in these Tulum streets. Man, we are literally in the jungle bro. The jungle. Bardo. Hotel Bardo, guys. This place is a straight vibe. Very much so. Mucho dinero. Mucho dinero. <laughs> Santa Mueta, which is like mezcal, mint, um, agave, and like oil. Some kind of oil, Yucatanian oil. Ooh, it smells good and fresh from the mint. Wow, habanero oil. You, you get that at the back of your throat. This drink is amazing. What a way to start off Tulum, man. Tulum, welcome. Your boy, baby lips, we out here, cuz. Ooh, what you got there? This is like everything you would want in a drink when you come to Tulum. It's like tropical, but not over, like not fake tropical. You know how you go to places and they just put like concentrate in it? Mm -hmm. It's like fresh tropical. 
and there's a little tang to it at the end, and it is uh, delicious. Oh my god. Oh, gracias. Mm. Gracias, muy bonita. Gracias. Doesn't it look so like everything you ever, when you order sangria, this is what you want to see coming to the table. Yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, that's sangria. Babe, look, had to get it. <laughs> you know it's good when she can't even put it down. She has to do the, the double sip. Gracias. Mm. Gracias. 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 So, Baby Lips is about to hit us with some carne asada tacos. Green tortillas. That's a that's a first, right? <laughs> that meat. It is soft and decadent. Wow. So I got the chicken burrito. It came with it like, in a, like a whole salad on the side. That looks pretty delicious to be honest with you. Um, I got the creme on the side because Veronica does not like the cream, but your boy loves it. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a quick little drip. Oh, come on now. Come on now. That is unnecessary. Oh yeah. Oof. Cheers citizens. This is for you. Oh. Bro. Trim is necessary, by the way. This burrito is so good. Chicken cinder, it was roasted. The rice has such a different taste. It's like Yucatanian rice. I don't even know what kind of rice this is. It's not long grain, short grain. It's phenomenal rice. Um, the flavor profile is all there. And it's so simple, just simplicity, which I think is like Mexico's cuisine, like farm to table, simplicity, but like nothing simple about these dishes. They're phenomenal and they are amazing. They're just the best of like the raw ingredients that they have. Good job on this burrito, guys. So we seen smoke coming up while we were eating and this place, wow, wow, look at this dude, it's like they have all this wood and then they're smoking here in these like, uh, these like, almost like these pits here that they created which is pretty dope man, look at this, it's bananas, absolutely beautiful and I think they're like heating up those herbs, it's like a pot of herbs it looks like they're heating up like all type of aromatics it's really warm back here so i'm probably not going to stay for long but a lot of wood and then here they have this like setup that looks so dope oh wow can't really see in there but it's beautiful and so guys this ceremony you can make reservations through the hotel but if you look at what they have, man, this place is amazing. Uh, they do this ceremony that is a traditional Mexican ceremony and the fire creates almost like a sweat, a sweat uh, lab and you go in there and you sweat out purifications, but it looks absolutely beautiful guys. And if you see over here in the corner, there's a shower, like an outdoor shower that you shower after you're done. This place is beautiful. It's This is where you come in and sweat. Guys, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Everywhere, guys. When coming to Tulum, they don't bother you, you don't bother them. Literally everywhere, though. And that's my girlfriend getting barked at. This guy is relentless. Hey, my man, chill out. 
You're briefly uh, beat up and molested by the dog gangs of Tulum, but the wild dogs here. Like that clip that y'all seen of that dog chasing baby lips, she wasn't running, but like he was trying to smell her ankles. He was like going crazy. The dog was like, I've never seen a dog cough before. Like that dog was coughing. Oh my God. Like it was a situation watching this go down. I mean, that's just something that a lot of people don't show, but when you walk the streets of Tulum, Tulum yeah, bro. Like yeah, that's that's like a real most thing. Most vlogs are very glamorized. Yeah, it's like and highlight reels. Don't get me wrong, there is a really glamorous side to Tulum, and I don't even say I'm not even gonna say this is bad. This is just so undeveloped. It's super undeveloped, guys. Like, let me just give you a quick shot of what's in front of me, and this is what I'm seeing as we speak right now. So, guys, the reality is this is a huge part of Tulum when you get off the beach cities. Like when you're not on like the little beach boardwalk, this is a huge part of this place, FYI. Super undeveloped. It looks like something is coming, but no time soon. <laughs> Maybe, but no. Like they cleared those trees off and then they were like, ah, oh, yeah, go get something to drink. I'm good, bro. Let's get some cerveza. <laughs> Anyways, going back to our place, which once again is very super undeveloped. <laughs> like they are literally doing construction here as we speak, right, baby love? Yeah, it's brand new. We are the first people to ever live here and it's so freaking nice though. I think there's things that we appreciate about that, but I also think there's some cons to that as well. So going back in this place and we'll talk to you guys pretty soon. Just got back. We're now leaving, as you can see, behind us in our surroundings. Guys, this is hella jungly, okay? If you come to Tulum, make sure you have your mosquito stuff. Notice I'm looking over my shoulders. I'm looking all in the bushes because, guys, once again, beware of jaguars and, like, leopards. Like, those are signs around here. So, like, I'm walking past this bush, bruh, and I'm thinking, does something see me and I can't see it? I am truly shook. Uh, that there's just like apparently apparently wild leopards and like jaguars out here so you know there ain't too many brothers on the episodes of when animals attack and i'm not trying to start the trend but we're headed to the grocery store right now um because we need a power cord extension so that we can be able to hook up my playstation 5. this place came with uh came with netflix but like not really so yeah bro we're on the side of the street, as you can see. Cars, Jaguars, baby lips. Oh my goodness, baby, slow down, slow down. Slow it down. This is the part of Tulum that people never show you when you watch these vlogs. In case you didn't know, DNV La La Land gives you the scoop on every occasion. Oh, I remember this, this is like a- Uh oh. This is like a- Baby lips found something. No, it's like this big hangout look. There's like... I'm gonna show you guys what she's looking at. So we stumbled upon this, which seems to be like... Uh, it's like a jungle gym. It's like a food. huge uh, hangout, like food market, little gathering. Do you want to go in here? I don't know if we can. Yeah, I don't know if we can either. I think it's just getting started right now. Oh. All right, guys, this place is called Palma Central. Veronica literally seen this. We literally just stumbled upon this, right, baby love? Yeah, and she's hella excited. We're about to go look, check it out. Guys, look at this. As soon as you walk in, it's like a bunch of food trucks. Dude, it's like they have fruit trucks, food trucks, everything. Baby lips, what a find, huh? All right, guys, so look how dope this is. When you walk into this place, food trucks galore. You got all these, uh, all these little settings here. So many trucks, so many different cuisines. Baby Lips just said it absolutely reminds me of when you go to Coachella, There's the Coachella that, Garden. This is like, yeah, and they have all these little stalls around. This like gives me such Coachella vibes. Yeah. Right, guys so that is what we call an off the beaten path discovery we had no plan on like running across that to be honest with you we've never even heard of that 
But like, that's the whole point of traveling is sometimes you get lost and you have some of the best experiences. You discover things, otherwise, you never would have discovered when you get lost and just get out there in them streets, man. That's what we do. There's a huge line at OXO, guys. Look at us. Look at all those pineapples in the back of this car. The side hustles are so real out here. Pineapple galore. All right, guys, so literally walking here, and I found this little place. It's like a Telcel. Telcel is like the huge cell phone provider out here. But we're looking for a extension cord and like a multi uh, little power strip. power strip. So we're about to go in here and see if they have it and for how much. We're literally trying to patronize this small business. We're gonna go to the huge grocery store. But I guess we're gonna patronize this small business and see if we can buy something from here and support them. See, see. See. Gracias. It's a cool little store here that we found, like I said, off the little uh, strip here. It's pretty legit. It's pretty legit. So if you need something and you happen to stumble upon this place, check it out. All right? Gracias. 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 Buenas noches. Once again, guys, everywhere you go in the world, you will find a Chinese restaurant, at least one, everywhere in the world. Guys, the van situation. All right, guys, we finally made it to Super Aki, which is the grocery store. Uh, here they have one Super Aki and they have one Shutter Eye uh, that I seen, but we're about to walk in here and see like what they got. All right, guys, you already know. All these places look like they slap, man. They look so good in front of Super Aki. Why the hell is there a line right now? A major line in front of Super Aki. What the heck? Guys, beer galore. Look at that. Entire wall of just beer. Every single place we go to a Mexico grocery store has so much of a bug aisle because, especially here in the Yucatan, the bugs are out of control, bro. Out of control. So this is super aki. We're about to go over here in the meat market and see what they got. Uh, in Merida, it was interesting, and it looks like it's interesting here too. They don't even have stuff. Like this place is completely ran through, bro. Like, look at this. Like it's just bags of meat that have probably been frozen for years. I don't even know what this is. I don't. They don't have anything. All right, guys. So we are leaving Super Aki, and just like in Meridia, it is abundantly clear that I am not a fan of Super Aki. Not a fan of that place at all. So we're going to the other store. Watch your step, baby love. We're going to the other store called Shutter Eye, and hopefully they have what we need. Hopefully. So we are currently now walking into Shutter Eye. Listen, when you come to Tulum, do not waste your time going to Super Aki. It is a complete show, if I, if I may say myself. Come to Shutter Eye. This place is so freaking nice. And it's like a legitimate grocery store with real stuff that you actually want to buy. Fiji, this is such an underrated flex. Water stores, man. Good water is such an underrated flex. They have Fiji, guys. Guys, unlike Super Aki, as you can see, the place here actually has options, bro. Actually, food options on the shelf. or the grocery store or something. We're back and we settled in and now we're about to take a shower. And I thought I would share with you guys our little shower experience. <laughs> okay guys, so these, I don't know if you remember, but before we left for Meridia, oh no, one broke. Before we left to come here, we went to Lush and one of our little shower bombs broke. So these are little shower bombs and we're so excited. You put them in the shower and it just like essence mm -hmm. or something for your shower. It's just really nice. It makes it very spa-like. So we're going to treat ourselves tonight with a little spa shower situation. And I think we're going to do a face mask too. So guys, as you can see, we had six. But on the four-hour drive it took to get here, 
we have four and a half that made it because they got squished. So we have a whole bunch of just loose, uh, loose meat. <laughs> <laughs> Loose me. And we're just gonna sprinkle it on the ground in the shower. When the heat hits it, it's like the aroma rises up and like you breathe it in and it goes through your nasal passage, just like being in a spa. Oh, so, it's so nice. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's pretty legit. If you guys are ever around Lush, ask for shower bombs. You're welcome. Guys, it's face mask time. Baby Lips makes me do these things with her. I don't enjoy them. Un, po un poquito. <laughs> You guys wonder why Dustin has this beautiful skin? It was Jesus. <laughs> Is this supposed to be tingly? Mm-hmm. Is it tingling? A little bit in the forehead. What if tomorrow when you wake up, your whole face is like a blister? Bruh. Why would, why would we joke about that? Okay. Are you baked? Bruh, why'd I look like the Grinch right now? I don't know, guys, I don't know. I, I don't think this is it right here. Bro. Wow, guys. Twinsies. Her face is green. She got her army shirt. <laughs> and she got her green uh, sweats. Green, green sweats, green shirt, green face. Camouflage, y'all. Where's Veronica? <laughs> I salute you. Grinch, what are we about to do? Wash our face. Okay. It's your boy body rolling. It's your boy body rolling. Y'all better subscribe. Y'all better subscribe. Look at my face though. And y'all look at Lapios. Uh, looks like I'm next, guys. Looks like I'm next. La Lapios. Lapios. La la Lapios. We're ready. All right. You look sexy, girl. You already know. Rub it in. Rub it in. You guys, this is prime time behind the scenes content right here. <laughs> look at Dustin get his skincare on. Okay, now Ray. It's hot. Okay, it's okay. Oh, God, it's so You're hot. a big boy. You're oh. a big boy. Oh. I'm rubbing you. Oh. You guys see how I have to like encourage him? Oh, it's so hot. You can do this warm? Baby. We'll give you skin to skin after this, okay? Yeah, you know I look forward to that skin to skin. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that's a wrap. Welcome to Tulu. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs, man. Your boy is like... <laughs> Hella tired, good day. Cannot wait for tomorrow. Anyways, if you like what you see, if we brought any joy to your day, make sure to hit that thumbs up, comment, share, like, subscribe. Are, are you uh, yawning? Wow, am I boring you? It's the end of the day, I'm tired. Am I boring you? Okay. Anyways, guys, make sure to join our Patreon. Go ahead, support our journey around the world. We appreciate it. For those people that are supporting us, big ups, big thank you so much. Uh, your names on the videos. We appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for the content and uh, For the people that are watching my name's Dustin. This is baby lips and at the end of the day guys We just happen to be the best damn team on the tube Traveling the world Who doesn't want to be a part of that you guys know what it is live life beautifully with no regrets and until tomorrow citizens Peace to me and you to write our story wanna shape the news